Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody to a brand new YouTube video. Today, I've got the one and only Derek. Um, and uh, we've, we've worked together for such a long time. And Derek has a little bit of an intro about you, bro. Like you've been in sales for a very long time, like over 10 years now. Yeah, and, 20 um, years actually, long time. How many? 16? 20, 20. 20. Yeah, I don't look at, but you know, I'm yeah. 37. I got, I got into, I got into phone <laughs> sales a long time ago. That's awesome. So he 17, knows a thing yep. or two about. He knows a thing or two about selling over the phone, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today: how to sell over the phone, solar, uh, using the dealer model. And so we're gonna explain to you step by step. We're gonna give you a walkthrough of what it looks like to run with it. And what it looks like to get set up with an EPC. And for all of you out there that are brand new, buckle up, hold on to your hat because it's going to be a, it's going to be a ride. Absolutely. And, um, also, um, a lot of people that are in the industry already, maybe they're with the wrong company. Maybe they're just doing this on their own, but kind of like they're not sure um, if they, if they should continue with the company that they're with. So we're going to, we're going to talk to you about, you know, all the steps that you need to take in order to uh, to do this on your own in order for you to make the most amount of money possible in solar. All right, bro. So I'm going to let you like take over this and kind of like give everybody an intro into this. And then, um, uh, and yeah. 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 Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, It's interesting because, you know, even though I've been in phone sales and sales in general. I mean, I say when I was 17, it was actually when I was 15, right? It's when I got into phone sales, but then high, high ticket sales when I was 17. Mm -hmm. But when we decided to get into solar, when I decided to get into solar, it's probably been about a year and a half now, right? We had our conversations and we, we were super new to it. I didn't know anything about solar. And it's, it's actually a really funny story when I started learning about the type of margins that were in solar, which, which really made us do a 180 with what we were doing. I, I just remember the meeting. I remember them talking about the overrides in solar and how they were X. And I, I you know, I was like, oh, they, they're totally mistaken. I, you know, he said this, but he, I think he really meant this, right? He was talking about, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars an, an override per per kilowatt. I think really it was 60, 70 bucks. And then we had our meeting. I was blown away with what was. So anyways, that was that was kind of our decision to get into it. But but we still didn't know anything about it, um, especially how to connect with it with an installer or an epc right so i i remember it was literally like a six week process almost a full-time job just learning the industry like and i'm not even joking my you know my wife just remembers like that that time of just six weeks eight weeks eight hours a day like all i did was learn about this industry and make connections with epcs and vet them and try and understand all these different things so it, it can seem like a big deal but that was because was like learning a new language. Oh, it was like learning a new language, man. It was crazy. <laughs> and, 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 but that was because we didn't know what we were doing. I look back and I, I tell everybody, I'm like, I'm like, dude, we, we didn't have any connections in the solar industry, right? Like we were in a completely different industry. We didn't know who to talk to. We didn't know who to go to. Like if I could, if I could go back and have that conversation with somebody, oh my gosh, man, I would save myself so much time, so much money. Right. If we could have connected right. sooner and like it, 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 anyway. So, yeah, you're right. A lot of people think it is difficult. And if you don't know what the hell you're doing, it can be difficult for sure because it's overwhelming. There's a lot there. Right. Um, so what I would say is just because you see you do see a lot of guys that are either trying to transition to virtual or they're trying to go off on their own just in general. Mm -hmm. And so connecting with an EPC and finding an EPC and an installer that works for you um is probably the most important thing that you can do getting into solar, right? You know, yeah. people have questions of like, okay, well, you know, I want to go off and I want to run my deals and here's how I do it now working for this individual or I'm a rep or whatever. And so, you know, when you, when you find the right EPC, right. And you're, you know, like we, we, when we connect somebody right with, with, with an EPC, we just look at, you know, they're, they're network partners. Like we're not trying to be their manager. We're not trying to manage yeah. them. Like they want to go and do their own company. They're going to do their own lead, like whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Like they just want to piggyback off of some of the benefits that, that we can connect them with. Right. Yeah. And I, so you know what I told people, 
Huh. Uh, you know what I tell people? I tell people that your EPC is basically your business partner in the deal. Because For sure. you can do all the selling, all the legion, all the appointment setting. And then if you don't have someone credible to install your deals, no one's going to get paid. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. People, people, you know, you call them, you know, red line hunters, right? Like they're just out there searching for the the, the lowest red line. And we stopped doing that six months into this because it's like, you can get a red low, a low red line. If that's all you're looking for. Yeah. The problem is, is that like, what, like if you're taking four months to get an M1 payment or like you see a lot of companies now with everything that's going on with the banking system, they're completely doing away with M1 payments. So then it's like, mm-hmm. it's that much more important to like find something that's suitable and, and, um, uh, and that has their, you know, ha- has their stuff together. Right. Mm-hmm. But anyway, th- the point is, is that we stopped red line hunting because, you know, we looked at some of the metrics and KPIs as far as like attrition and just client satisfaction is like, you know, I, we were willing to pay a little bit more, what seemed like a little bit more, but our, but we had way more deals getting installed on the back end, Right. Mm-hmm. So anyways, that, that, that's something to consider, right? Cause you know, if you're new, right. What, what is sexy is like, oh, I need a, I need a low red line. Well, he, here's the reality is if you're new and you're one person, the likelihood of you getting a, a, a low red line is probably not going to happen unless you have some sort of a network partner connection. Like, like we work with our, right. you know, those that need that help. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so, so anyway, yeah, that, that, that's one of it is just like understanding that they are your business partner. You're, you're investing this time and money and energy into, into gathering this information, getting this client, walking them through the process, right. And getting them to a point where you're, you're now handing off this package that's tied in a bow and hoping that this other individual, these, this company is going to be able to do what they say they're going to do right? Mm -hmm. Good Mm -hmm. client communication, like follow through, they understand their permitting, like they have their stuff together. Cause if it's not, oh man, that's, that is, that is super, that is super frustrating. Mm -hmm. No, I know, man. I know because we work with a lot of installers and uh, some of them were not like, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend them to anyone, you know? Yeah, no. And, 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 and interesting thing about this industry too, is that you just need to stay on top of things. Like you need to be in the trenches in order to understand like, uh, you know, what are the installers to, to, uh, to kind of like partner with now, not six months ago or a year ago. Right. Because things yep. change very quickly. Absolutely. Like you were talking about the M1s like uh, for, for a lot of the, these EPCs like going away, you know, if you're not in the trenches or if you don't have someone like Derek in the trenches to tell you that stuff, you're going to you're going to partner with someone who who doesn't even have the capacity to pay you and once at all. Right. Which when you're you starting to, off is important. Is it is very important. Yeah, because you have to unless you're heavily loaded, which most right. people that are watching this channel are probably not, you know, right. or exiting another business, you have a lot of money to spend stuff like that, you know, um most people don't have that kind of money sitting around to make it work. And so right. that's why you need to be in the trenches. That's why you need to have someone who can literally be, you know, side by side with you and, and, and tell you in on the, you know, what's going on in the industry. Right. You know, so a hundred percent, man, is it's, um, you know, things change. Yeah. For sure. and, not, and not even one person, you know, I don't claim to know everything, but you know, you get a good group, you get a good group, good yeah. group together. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're invested. Dude, that can be, that can be life changing. If you're, mm-hmm. if you're trying to transition, which again, you got a lot of guys coming from other sales industries wanting to get into solar, or you've got right. a lot of guys from what I see, right? You've got a lot of guys that are, you know, they're working for another company or they're door knocking and either they're just trying to go off on their own or go off on their own and do it virtual, right? Mm-hmm. Like that, that, you know, having that guidance, like it's, it is, it is a night and day difference, right? But it doesn't mm-hmm. have to take, you know, like, like it took us, it didn't have to take, you know six weeks of what felt like a full-time job, like learning the industry and connecting with the right EPCs. I mean, we, we, we only had, well, anyway, that, that's, it's irrelevant, but anyway, you get the point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, which starts me into my next point. If someone wants to get started, right. We talk about how easy it is and stuff like that, whatever, but 
if someone was to get started now, what steps do they need to take um, in order to get with an EPC? And then, and then number two would be my follow up on that would be, um, you know, a lot of people tend to ask me about financing. How am I going to finance the the you know the customer's project if I don't have good credit stuff like? So let's get right into um, kind of like answering these questions, and then um, but let's tackle the step by step process first. Sure. What it looks sure. Like. Yeah, so so yeah, to your point, you know, we'll have conversations. I will have conversations with guys that are wanting to go off on their own and 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 you know, they want to maybe piggyback off some of the relationships that we have, which is understandable, right? Like I come yeah. from the world of real estate where I've had really good mentors. I've worked with a lot of in some of this you know, right? And mm -hmm. when I talk to people and they try and go out and they're trying to invest or use private money or hard money, it's like when they're brand new to that industry and they're trying to get hard money, man, they will have to jump through hoop after hoop after hoop. And even then the funding for their deal is not guaranteed. You know, it could fall through literally the day you're supposed to close. And that mm -hmm. that is a very similar situation with like those EPC relationships, because unfortunately, right, you are new, right? You haven't really proven yourself. And so that's why typically if you do try and have that relationship with an EPC individually, you mm -hmm. will get the runaround. Sometimes you won't get taken seriously. Now, if you've got a company you know, of 20 guys, right. Or 15 guys, and you guys are already doing deals. That's different. Um, but, w but we'll have a lot of, you know, a lot of guys will want to piggyback off of our relationships, which I would do. Like I would, in fact, I would recommend, but some of the questions that they have are, okay, well, how do I, do you guys have, you know, how do we, do I need to have a separate portal for, for financing or how do I connect with financing my deals or what kind of proposal software do I need to have in addition to having this in, right? Mm -hmm. And in their mind, everybody's mind, it's all separate. And the reality is, is if you get with the right EPC, it's, it's, a, it's all interconnected, right? Mm -hmm. It's all interconnected through API integration, right? And different, you know, different flows so that you're not having to have a relationship with the installer, with the proposal software company, with the finance company, right? Like that's their job right? That EPC has already done all that so that you don't have to do that, right? If mm -hmm. you try and do that, you're basically the EPC, right? And you, and you don't want to get into that yeah. game. So yeah, when you come in and you establish that relationship with an EPC, a lot of the time you're going to have to do some training, very simple, just generic training, right? Like here's the world of solar, very brief overview. Here's our platform. Here's how you, you know, here, here are the different things that you're going to look at and you're going to look for. And here's the financing we use. So it's all connected, right? From the proposal software to the financing to the portal, there's, you know, their customer uh, uh, management software, right? Mm. And so um, that's important for guys to understand because it makes it, 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 it turns the mountain into more of a hill because guys are thinking like, okay, I got to get into solar. First relationship is an installer. Second relationship is I got to find out what software I want to use to build proposals. And then I got to pay for that. Most of these guys, which again, I'll, I'll come back to this when it comes mm. to running proposals, right? Yeah, I, I do think you will see somewhat of a shift in the industry with certain companies, especially smaller companies. Like we had partnerships and still do with smaller and local EPCs as well as national EPCs, right? Every installer has its pros and cons, every Right. There's not a perfect one out there. Mm -hmm. We decided to do things a little bit differently, which we kind of pass on that knowledge and 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 wisdom, if you want to call it, from having gone through the school of hard knocks to anybody who who desires it. Mm -hmm. But one of the things is is some companies, some EPCs, they'll they'll charge you per proposal, right? Twenty bucks, right? If you need it done immediately, forty bucks. Right. right. And then you'll have some that, and then there's others that they don't, they don't charge you for it. Right. You can run as many as you want. Now, what I, what I have started, and this can be a completely different, you know, we'll do, we, I can do it. I do a trainings on these with the other guys is like, yeah. I'm big on KPIs and metrics. And mm -hmm. I start to tell guys, look, one of your KPIs, one of your metrics that you should start keeping track of is your proposal to close ratio. Because what you, I think what you will see over the coming year, right, is you're going to have companies that are 
they're they're literally bleeding money because of how many proposals are run. Like they got to pay people to do those proposals and to manage that software. Like they're paying it with the assumption that it's it's financially beneficial for them. But the reality is, I do think some of these you know smaller companies and companies that are already seeing some issues, uh, you're going to start seeing them do away with free proposals. You can't just run as many yeah. as you want. Either those are quota, or you're going to have to pay after that. And so they're going to kind of yeah. jump on, and then others will kind of absorb some of that market and they'll benefit from keep on doing what they're doing. But, um, but no, it's all integrated, right? So like from the proposal software to the CRM, to the, you know, to the financing, it's all integrated in a, in a, in a, in an EPC that has their stuff together. And so you're not having to go out and try and develop these relationships individually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It makes the process a lot easier, man, for sure. You know? Yeah. But if, if, if you were to, if you were to, um, like start out, what would you, what would you need to do in terms of like, what would the step-by-step -step process look like for somebody who, who's just getting into solar or maybe they're, they're a rep and they want to, they want to get onboarded, you know? You mean like how do we do it? Like if somebody reaches yes. out to us or like, yes, well, like we how? just have, mm -hmm. yeah. So we have just kind of a form that's really simple. We have people fill out a form, right? They just fill it out with some information that we collect because, you know, there's, there's obviously there are states out there that require different types of licenses, home improvement license, right? HIS license. And so, you know, where are you wanting to sell? Like, are you selling in these areas? Are you currently in the industry? So we, we have people take a couple of, you know, minute, two minutes, fill that out. And then we, and then from there, it's super simple. It's just an onboarding process, right? Within, um, you know, Typically, somebody within a week, as long as they're not, you know, messing around and just kind of treating it as whatever, right? They can be completely onboarded, ready to sell within a week. Right. That's get the awesome. training done, get their documents in, get the connections in, right? Like, again, um, and this is referring to the way we will help somebody, which is what we refer to as a network partner, you know, where they're their own, they're their own entity, right? Like, we're not trying to get in the way and be their manager and manage them or anything like that. It's just like... You know, if you if you end up coming in and 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 you're a company and you're an owner and you've got guys under you, all the money will be paid to you and you're going to pay out your own guys, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not trying to make a bunch of layers there, uh, but it's a very simple process, right? Fill out a form, you know, you're going to get some instructions, a couple of emails, right? Do a little bit of training, um, and I, I would say as long as guys are on that stuff, a couple hours of stuff like that, and you should be able to be on board within a week, ready to sell. That's pretty much awesome. anywhere you want yeah that's awesome and in the in the uh the solar boss which is the, the the course that we have we actually have a lot more information on you know if you want to use the dealer model the way we teach it right like, where do you sell like what are the best states you know and stuff yeah. like that because if you don't know that stuff you you can you can go down and try and sell in in florida thinking it's a good state uh when in reality it's like if you try to you know i probably have a video on this somewhere in the channel but you know if you try to sell in florida using the dealer model that we teach most of the time you're gonna probably fall flat on your face right and that's you mean you mean it's somebody who's trying to do it without using the model no using the model but still like deciding thinking without any uh knowledge whatsoever oh thinking yeah that the, the state might be a good like like a, a right a good run and then, right. and then you give it a go and realize, well, Florida doesn't work. Yeah, it's a sunshine state, but it doesn't work, right? Yeah. And so there's 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 um, there's definitely like a lot more of you know information and and um, the way we teach it in the in the program, and you know we show people exactly where to go in order to make the most out of it, and make make the most amount of money possible, right. get the honestly the best bang for their buck. For so, sure. You know, so well, so, especially if you're going virtual, right? I mean, you get to pick and choose where you get to go virtual, right? Yes. And, and don't get me wrong, we have network partners that are in Florida that do great, right? But it's definitely like you said, it's not one of those states where you're just going to jump in and figure it out. It's like Texas, like Texas is a great state. But there are aspects of Texas, right? Because it's so deregulated, where you're going to run into situations where people are paying five cents right? Five cents a watt. And it's like, 
you know, but there are also it other aspects of Texas. Sense. There's like this triangle in Texas yes. where, you know, you got 18 kilowatt systems that you're, that you're making good spread on. So it, it's not that you can't make money in these areas. You know, in fact, some people kill it. It's more so having, like you said, an understanding of like, before you just, you know, before you just jump in. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh, it's funny. Cause, um, what is that? I, I, uh, you know, I do, you know, crypto, I like crypto, right? So this new the platform, their, their new thing after everything, after all, I think it's, um, learn and then leap or something like that. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> like educate, then leap. So you're right, not just, right. you know, guys aren't just jumping in at the wrong time. It's like, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, so honestly, like, you know, <clears throat> like people think it's, it's, it's a lot harder than it actually is in, in, in real, you know, in real life. And um, if you're out there just stuck in a company, like just working for a company and they don't provide you with anything, like no leads, no appointments. And even if they do provide leads and appointments, you have most of the time you get an adequate training uh, or the appointments are face-to-face. And we live in, you know, 2023, like you don't have to physically see your customers in order for, uh, in order for you to, to close deals. Like it's no way, it's, man, you know, dude, if you so can sell means, insurance so, over the phone without seeing somebody, you can sell, you can sell solar over the phone. Exactly. 100%. In fact, yes. I'm a big believer. Now, again, I don't carry the baggage that people who have been in the solar for five years. When I say that when we first got in, we couldn't wrap our mind around people who were, um, you know, when we started to learn about solar, we understood the door knocking, right? But what we what we didn't understand is why people when when somebody didn't want to meet face to face, why they were trying to do like a Zoom meeting, right? And, and again, this is Crazy. our experience because it's all phone sales, right? Yes. And I couldn't get it. I'm like, why why are we trying to do a Zoom meeting? Why are we trying to do a Zoom meeting? Right? Is it because of the the COVID? Like everybody's just used to this Zoom now? Right. And then it clicked like three months in, and I'm like, oh dude, they're totally doing zoom meetings because they're trying to simulate their in-house experience and that's what they know right Right. it'd be like me trying to do what i would been doing for 20 years you know there's going to be a learning curve i'm trying to do what i've been doing that exact same thing on the doors so it's like now you know we didn't have that baggage right so Mm -hmm. but it's not it's not hard to overcome you just you really just got to dumb it down simplify it a lot of the time you're not even showing you know them the proposal i mean that's 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 another topic right but it's you know, it is sure. it definitely for don't sure. have to be in front of anybody anymore in virtually fact, yeah for sure i mean i tell people th- this all the time as well <clears throat> like, i like to see people like on a zoom call but the reality is we've we've missed out on so many appointments because because of that because of mm-hmm. people's inability to join a zoom call right you know so I'm like, that way, you know, we're leaving so much money on the table. I'd right. rather, you know, not see my customer and, and you know, and have them show up than, right. you know, than Absolutely. Uh, try and, you know, do a Zoom call where they can't even join. So, yep. And that's not to say that it doesn't work, right? There's plenty of guys out no, there that works, do it because sure. that, that's someone, what they like. That's what they this. enjoy doing. But yeah, I, exactly. That's what I tell people as well. Like if you... If you, uh, if they demand or if they prefer a zoom meeting, yeah. sure. Yep. You know? Yeah. Or even but as a self rep, is that, if that's what you're used to and that's what you're comfortable with until you mm-hmm. maybe eventually, maybe you eventually wean out of it. You'll learn how to, yes. you know, dumb it down a little bit more as yeah. time goes so, by. So the reality is, um, the reality is that, you know, we're talking about like getting onboarding with DPCs and stuff like that. By the way, you can, you can, uh, you can apply to work with with Derek uh we'll leave a, a link uh down in the description below you can fill out a form we'll figure out if that's a good yeah, yeah. whatever yeah, uh, you know. but but all the training all the trainings you know that you need that you possibly need will be in the solar boss if you're trying to do the the virtual dealer model and when i say virtual i mean i don't mean this i mean like yeah, really yeah. over the phone yep. you know yep. Uh, we have real life examples of what it looks like to close deals over the phone. So it's not like, you know, we haven't, we haven't gone out there and, and, and done it. 
Um, cause a lot of people are like, well, yeah, we, you know, I'm going to show you how to do that. And it, and they try to do the step by step, but where is your real life example? You know, it's like, I want right. to see that's, a, that's why I always learn. It's like, I want you to teach me how to do it, but I also want to see a real life example. I want right. to see what, what's the dynamic of a call. And that's what we have in the solar bus. And then Derek also has a, uh, channel, a separate channel in the discord group that we have. Um, which is straight up on getting with EPCs and everything else. So I know you do a lot of like private coaching with the people. Um, yeah, if they need help, like definitely, absolutely. Help. Right. Yeah. And they need it, man. Uh, especially if they're starting out, we want to, we want to have everyone start off on the right foot. So, yep. um, because solar is like, we have trainings, like we'll, we'll have trainings to help guys out. We cover specific yeah. topics. Sometimes we'll do just kind of open Q and a, which we do a lot because it's beneficial for people. Yeah. The discord yeah. is nice is because there's different channels in there. And so like, obviously, you know, we try and keep certain topics in certain channels, but it's just to kind of yeah. make the whole journey smoother. Right. It's like yeah. so, something as small as, as small, right. As connecting with the right EPC literally saves you a lot of money. Like when we first got in, we had, uh, I want to say two weeks in, this was in, it was in Texas is we probably had thirty to forty thousand dollars of commissions that we couldn't fulfill on because of unsupported utilities. And it's just that lack of knowledge, right? It's just that lack of understanding that, yeah. you know, that is a lot of money. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. So Yeah, and if you don't if you don't if you don't know that, you know, that could cost you a lot of money, like you said. So um so yeah, yeah. like that's that's probably so again, don't don't overthink it if you're if you're sitting on the fence if you're uh you know if you're looking to get into solar that's your best way to get in in it you know even if you get nothing out of this video if, if, even if it's just education like we don't we don't want you to necessarily buy the course or work with Derek or any of that stuff right we just want to provide value but it, at the end of the day the whole channel is is should I wanted to serve as an eye opener to people that are still stuck in companies that that won't tell you what you need to know because they make money uh, because of your, you know, you're you're in the company. They want to keep you around. OK, right. And so my whole goal with this channel and, and, the, and the videos that, that I make is to just open up people's eyes to what's possible. Um, and the reality is guys, is that most companies won't give you anything and they'll tell you everything you need to know in order to, uh, not have you leave the company, you know? Right. Um, hence why the stupid I've seen, bro, I've seen this like with Raven solar, uh, 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 you know, with, with other companies like, like, um, uh, power Palmetto, you, you name it and not Palmetto, sorry. Um, What's that? The other company, Apricot, you know, they yeah. give you like little schemes to keep you around basically so that you sell for the same company. You're not, you know what I right. mean? So dude, to me, anything that doesn't empower me, you know, which nobody's going to do that. You know, everyone's going to, everyone's going to look after themselves. So the right. company, yep. you think the company, you know, is, is looking after you, and they're not doing it for their own benefit, you're delusional. So a lot of these companies that are tell you, know, ditch the red line and ditch this and do, don't do that, whatever. They want to keep you uneducated and they want to yeah. keep you in their spider net because they make money off of you. And that's the whole, and that's the real, that's the, that's honestly the truth. So, yeah. So anyway, you can reach Derek down in the description below. Um, Derek, any final, any final thoughts, bro? Anything that we should close on? Uh, we yeah. will definitely like make more videos on this, uh, maybe for sure. Yeah. And stuff like that, but you know, well, just to, just to your last point, I mean, one, like, I mean, we connected because, you know, a year and a half ago when we had the idea of doing it virtually, it was just like right. such a unicorn, right? No, yeah. everybody just thought we were crazy. Like literally thought we were crazy and we couldn't even believe we just kind of assumed that everybody like on the virtual aspect over the phone, right? We kind of just assumed that all these companies had a department that did it this way. And and we were so blown away that they didn't. And then we can and, and so I just started doing a bunch of research and you know, that's how we connected, right? And it was just like 
eye-opening yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all right i, I kind of missed you there bro can you repeat yeah i just decided saying? to sometimes it's got a mind of its own just restarted no what i was saying is is um you know these connections and these things that we're putting together for people that are in the group right to kind of make their life easier and smoother like this individual that we were talking to that i was talking to mm -hmm. you know they had um you know they, they already had an epc they already had a relationship and they were kind of explaining to me kind of what was going on and kind of how they felt the situation worked and they're an experienced mm -hmm. this person is very experienced they're great at closing that's why we're working with them right and mm -hmm. um and it was interesting to see the the even with them that had that much experience closing virtually um, some of the transparency that just wasn't there, right? And I'm, and again, I'm not here to say that's good or bad. I'm not saying that the company did it with bad intentions. I don't think that at all, actually, right? Um, what I what I do believe is that there, you know, the way I like to do things because I'm not trying to be anybody's manager, right? I'm not I'm not that person, right? Like I don't want to manage your life and your business, like. But but it was interesting to be able to provide them with some insight and and kind of see some light bulbs go off right and again this is somebody who's been doing virtual sales for a while and even any right. and they weren't part of our group or anything like that um, and so but but you know they are going to be benefiting from the relationship now which is which is good for them so for sure. just 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 for to sure. your point right where you're talking about different companies and you know they don't yeah. want you to know too much and. And that's true, right? Like sometimes yeah. knowing too much can complicate things if you're a rep. But once you decide to kind of go off on your own, like transparency is a good thing. You don't want that six months down the road, mm -hmm. right? You, you kind of you, you want to have that transparency from the from the get go. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Anyway, uh, thank you for being here, dude. Thank yes, you sir. For making it making the time yeah. today to do this. Um, I'm sure people got value out of it, you know, and uh, we're definitely going to be coming back and doing more of these videos. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed for everyone watching. I, have, I hope you enjoyed like watching this video. If you did, please leave, uh, leave a comment down below and like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Appreciate it. We'll see you, man.